no. And that's how the day starts. Not exactly a good start. But I was determined today it was going to be one heck of a big day. It was a big course load as well. There was something about that day. Not just the usual busy work. But there was a new assignment. One I hadn't seen before. One that took me on a long walk down memory lane. Born March 19th, 1998. I think I was fated to be the silly guy I am today. Ever since I could remember, I've had a tendency to get into trouble with an overall zeal for life. It was during my time in elementary school that my personality and interests took form. I was no stranger to bullying at the time, and a lot of my friends would move away over the years. Nonetheless, my family support gave me the confidence I needed. I was soon introduced to singing, school plays, the alto saxophone, and even a few dance classes with my best friend. My interest in the world around me continued to grow with Cub Scouts. So, in the end, elementary school laid the foundation for my desire to be different, to understand other people, and be the friend other people needed when times got tough. My time at Pioneer was a great transitionary period in my life. I continued to play the saxophone, learned to act in theater arts, started to speak up for what I believed in through clubs, and became more active overall. It was during that time I made a solid commitment to improve myself academically, artistically, and physically. In the end, I emerged from 8th grade promotion a little less awkward, alongside friends who I had shared great experiences with. I owe my success to my family. Had it not been for them, I would never have had the courage to be as involved in school as I am. Starting with my sisters, Amber, and then Corianne, it's obvious we're all a silly bunch. And then there's my partner in crime, Colin. I knew from the beginning that we would be together, through the thick and thin. Watching him grow up has been a blessing. I'm just happy that he stands me messing around with him. Of course, there's my dad. In times of trouble, he was my guardian angel. I've always seen him as an example for his singing, his acting, and his handiwork as a general contractor. His passion for helping others inspires me, and I'm proud to be his son and share his great sense of humor. Last, and definitely not least, is my mom. Besides her great advice, my mother's hope to share her life with my brothers and sisters has led to many great adventures where I got to see many great things and meet many great people. Above all, my mom sees me through a different lens. She sees me for my potential, and that has inspired me to be the best I can be. As for my extended family, there are my uncles, my aunt, my cousins, second cousins, <laughs> the list goes on and on. Nevertheless, I am grateful for getting to know both sides of my family. They are all so wild and crazy, and I love them for it. I feel so free to be who I am and have fun around my family, and thanks to them, I have been able to try many new things knowing they have my back. Sometimes we might not see eye to eye. But we all cherish the time we have with one another and would do anything to help each other out. So, through good times and bad, I'm grateful for how open-minded and adventurous my family has made me. <sighs> I need to think. Some say it's necessary to let go of your past in order to move forward. They have their point. Even then, I still find myself looking back on it all. This time around, I can't help thinking, senior year hit me like a ton of bricks. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop doing those all-nighters. Time to get back to work. They say it's easy to get acclimated to high school if you surround yourself with good people. For me, this came in the form of the arts. My time in band taught me that parades and other exciting activities are what make it fun. But the people that you get to share them with make band an experience. I was happy to help build props for the color guard in their off season, help fellow students learn their parts, and later become a leader for the band. 
Knowing that I could help this amazing program is the least that I can do to give thanks. Mr. Colinus is a great teacher, and it's thanks to him that I'm the musician I am today. Into my freshman year, I would not have foreseen my involvement in choir. After a few sour attempts at being in choir in elementary school, I was content singing in the passenger seat of my mother's car. Suffice to say, my family and the Beckman Madrigals changed my perspective on choirs forever. Never before had I been so in touch with my talent as a singer, and it's all thanks to my teacher, Mrs. Stook. She stuck her neck out for me as a new singer and gave me numerous opportunities to be a soloist or become involved in outside choir programs. Coupled with my experience with Varsity Choir and the musicals here at Beckman, I know that I would never regret the time that I spent here in choir. Until I met Mary, I never knew that I could feel such a genuine connection with someone in high school. For the first time in a long time, there was someone who believed in me, someone who I could talk with for hours on end. She's the buttercup to my Wesley, and I wouldn't have had it any other way for these last two years in high school. Now high school wouldn't be what it is if you don't recognize the friends that helped you along the way. Through the sports, extracurriculars, and honors classes, we made it through high school together, celebrating the good times and cheering one another on when we needed it the most. Above all, there is one group of friends that I have to acknowledge. These guys have been with me since Pioneer, and despite our busy schedules, we continue to make time for each other. They have shown me what it means to be a true friend, and for that, I'll always be grateful for the time that I've spent with them. Done. Now what do I say about my future? Now that graduation is right around the corner, I plan to take the next step in my education at Brigham Young University in Hawaii. From there, I hope to dedicate my life to the study of music and to medicine, in hopes that I can be successful doing what I love. But first, this summer I will be leaving for two years on a mission for my church. With the memory of all that I have learned and all the people I have met, I hope that other people I meet will be open to what I believe in. I also want to use this time to build myself up, prepare myself for what the future holds for me. I set out with one goal in mind, to help other people in any way possible. I hope that I could be a helping hand when someone needs it. It may be a shoulder to cry on when life feels impossible. In spite of life's obstacles, our decision to get back up and keep fighting is what defines who we are. I owe my life to my faith, and who I am and what I have learned from other people. Besides our differences, we all have the capability to triumph over opposition, and understand the world a little better each day. So go and live your life the best you can. You may all do the same.